Thank you very much, Ethan. A pair of former state employees are accusing the Indiana Medicaid program of ignoring overpaid claims to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah, Chief Investigator Steve Brown is out here with the newly unsealed details from federal court documents. Steve, obviously an issue for a lot of people. Yeah, it's a big program, it spends a lot of money, and this is a really unusual case. Two former state employees have partnered with the U.S. Attorney's Office in a civil case against insurers and a laundry list of Indiana hospitals alleging large-scale Medicaid fraud. The Indy Star was first on the story of how James McCullough and James Holden claimed political pressure caused the state Medicaid program to look the other way on more than $700 million in overpayments. These kinds of federal civil cases can result in triple damages if violations of federal law are found, which could mean a substantial award to McCullough and Holden. The whistleblower is entitled to a percentage of that recovery. Um, if the government intervenes and joins in in the case, then the whistleblower can be entitled to 15 to 25 percent of the amount the government collects. The plaintiff's case includes a number of exhibits involving IBM Watson hired by state government to examine the state's Medicaid program. In a 2020 analysis by IBM Watson, it found between state Medicaid and managed Medicaid, a combined $285 million was paid out for inpatient hospital stays that should have been billed as cheaper outpatient stays. In another exhibit involving IBM Watson analysis, $300,000 was identified in potential overpayments by state and managed Medicaid programs for health care after patients had died. And in a program that prepays health care providers of Medicaid patients, another exhibit appears to document close to $3 million in payments made months and years after the death of patients. The defendants, 66 of them, are mostly Indiana hospitals from all around the state. On their behalf, we reached out to their lobbying group, the Indiana Hospital Association. We have not heard back from them yet. Steve Brown, Fox 59 News. A lot of money to deal with there, Steve. Thank you very much.